Will he give us a firm, guaranteed date as to when the rapid transit line to the University of Manitoba will be completed? I thank the member for the question. It was, it was a great day in Manitoba yesterday to see the new stadium being fully operational, full of fans from around Winnipeg, Mr. Speaker. And, and let's not forget the opposition. The opposition opposed the new stadium, just like they opposed the MTS Centre, just like they opposed flood protection for the people in the Assiniboine Valley. Rapid transit, the first significant investment in rapid transit has been done during the last decade with this government and the City of Winnipeg. And I look forward to the second phase, Mr. Speaker. And I particularly, I particularly look forward to the member from River Heights, as well as the members of the opposition, voting for it and putting their money where their mouth is, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, ordinarily I'd be excited to read a headline that the offensive linemen were moving faster than buses. <laughs> but today, reading the details, it's because the buses could hardly move. The gridlock is because rapid transit has been delayed time and again and is now stuck halfway between the Premier and the Mayor's office, and today there isn't even a traffic jam. <laughs> My question to the Premier, when will he ensure rapid transit to the University of Manitoba is on fast forward so that the parking headaches for bomber games and other events can be overcome? Member for the question, only the members on this side of the House have voted for anything for transit in the last 10 years. The member from River Heights, the leader of the, the members of the Progressive Conservative Caucus have consistently voted against any improvements in infrastructure. This budget is an infrastructure budget. Everybody on the other side of the House voted against it. Every single member voted against it. We're going to build flood protection. We're going to build streets. We're going to build rapid transit. We're going to build schools. We're going to build hospitals. We're going to build a prosperous Manitoba. 100,000 more jobs will come out of our investments. And the members opposite, their approach, lay people off and drive them out of the province, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as, as the Premier well knows, I have been pushing for years to get rapid transit done. And the fact of the matter is that it could have been completed and be ready and have been used yesterday, except for delays in the prioritization of this government exactly. and their poor right communication back and forth with the mayor. The first leg of rapid transit is partly completed for 3.8 kilometers. The second part of the first leg is still not completed. What are the Premier's specific plans? Tell us today, instead of, you know, bringing up, uh, you know, objections, excuses, tell us today what is going to be the timely completion for the first leg to the University of Manitoba of off-street rapid transit. Again, Mr. Speaker, I appreciate the question. It's very important for the future of a city which is going to grow to a million people. And the reason it's growing, we have 125,000 more people in the province of Manitoba, and the members opposite do not, any, do not do anything to support that. The new stadium is a wonderful investment, not just for the Bombers, but for the University of Manitoba and for the public. And it's a tremendous asset that's going to move 30,000 people out to that campus. 25,000 25, people a day go out there when the university is in session. And rapid transit will be a very significant part of the future. Our money's on the table. Our commitment is clear, Mr. Speaker. We're also funding the electric bus, which will be a cleaner bus. We think rapid transit, electric bus, is the future of Manitoba. I only wish the members opposite would support these things. When we want to see new schools, they vote against it. When we want new hospitals, they vote against it. When we want new infrastructure, they vote against it. When we want to see hydro built, they vote against it and say, haul it. We're going to build it. They're going to resist it. We will make Manitoba a better place, Mr. Speaker.